back with another video back 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 how are you guys doing hello everyone peace 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 and greetings to you i hope you guys are doing well i hope you are in the energy of love let me introduce myself to anybody that is new my name is bella and this is Emper empress b healers channel yes 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 where this is a no judgment zone but i do speak the truth and if you cannot handle the truth and it is a trigger, this may not be the channel for you because we're not sugarcoating nothing over here. Like, you know, it is what it is. We grown, we grown, grown, grown. Guys, um, you know how we already do. Go get your water. Mm, I appreciate this water. I appreciate you. I appreciate you being here. I did do a video and it was uh, no no to roll it was no cars it was that was a serious message and i kind of had to start with that one and i was like okay you know what sometimes the darker ones we got to get those out the way and then um then the lighter ones you know are you the type do you want the good news or do you want the bad news <laughs> that's what i just heard do you want the good news or the bad news but all right so right now um we are getting ready to move into Scorpio season. So we are still in this Libra season, Libra season. Um, and a lot is happening. A lot is happening. A lot is going on. But I do have some messages for the divine feminine, okay? And when I say divine feminine, you could be a man in your uh, divinity, in, in, in your divine feminine essence. And even if you are a female, you could be in your masculine energy, but you are understanding and you are in alignment with the feminine energy because at, at certain times, you know, we got to we gotta either be in our feminine or sometimes we have to be in that masculine energy where we're in the energy of action, right? But you're always in the energy of receiving as a divine feminine. So I, I need to just see what cards, let's see, what, what deck are we getting? I think I'm gonna get, uh, let's see, the, I got, God, I got different cards. So Divine divine Feminine, very uh, sensual, sacred, sacred energy at this time. Uh, so you're really in this, in this space of having this love affair uh, with yourself. You are in this energy of, having love with yourself thank you greetings 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 we call in the energy of the holy spirit i call in the archangel michael to protect me and the viewer that is watching at this time call my beautiful guides thank you and my ancestors of the highest purest organic white light thank you thank you to the galactic federation thank you source Woo. yeah i mean y'all really <laughs> Oh my goodness. Divine Feminine. The secret of the Camelot. The authority spirit. That authority spirit. So you may have, may want to find where Saturn is in your natal chart. Okay. You may work with the planet Mama Saturn. Yes, I am, I am called Mama Saturn. So there's something with the rings, something with a ring, okay? Uh, you could be somebody that likes wearing like multiple rings on your fingers, I'm seeing. Or potentially, I don't mean to give this away, but you could be getting present, presented with the ring, uh, with the offer. So now with this ring, this could be an engagement ring or this could be a, a promise ring, okay? So that's that's really beautiful number uh and this could be happening in december uh, december 12th somebody's birthday could be december 12th somebody's birthday could be december 11th uh um december 22nd february 12th or tw 12 12 2 2 12 so those numbers 12 22 12 21 <laughs> And 212, okay? So 222, two, two, you guys might uh, be seeing that number, okay? So that is divine, divine union. And that's what I was picking up, that there is this beautiful love affair that divine feminine that you are having, okay? And, and it, it, it really is starting with 
your relationship with the most high God. And then it, it is the relationship that you are having with yourself and then the relationship that you are having uh, with others. All right, so the, I am picking up about three to four possible masculines in your energy. Um, you know, take take that how that resonates. For some, that could, that could really be platonic. Um, but I am picking up a strong father energy that has uh, transitioned, that has passed on. That father energy really is with you. He blocks Dusties. He plucks. Nope. You can't be in her energy. Not my daughter. <laughs> so very princess energy. Even if your father's alive, you could be a uh, you could be a daddy's. You could be a daddy's girl. So I'm seeing that there's individuals who, for some reason, like literally, even if you know you were brought up with your father um this this could have been where the fa your father didn't live at home with you there was the separation and divorce your father always loved you always cared about you there might have been some so much chaos with mom and dad that um dad wasn't really uh, able to be around this might have brought like um a big divide or um, a big separation that that your mom created between you and you and the dad so so a lot of healing with mom a lot of healing with dad you know a lot of forgiveness uh i feel like that has already been done you've already you've already done that uh you you are literally being an example for other individuals how to do that how to clear that energy out how to clear those type of generational curses all right the healing temple of the lunar, of the lunar light. Mm. You have this um, illuminating lunar light around you. So, so your name may literally be Luna. <laughs> you may want to name your daughter Luna, or you really do feel, you know, um, the different shifts, uh, the different frequencies, and the, the the moon how it affects the flow of the waters of the ocean of the sea right so if you are a water sign maybe there's something that you get more of a heightened sense or a, a heightened type of energy around the different phases of the moon very sensual energy individuals are knowing if individuals were acting like they didn't know your worth before these individuals know your worth now it is not up for discussion and it is not up for debate. You may have been somebody that lowered yourself or dimmed yourself to fit in with other individuals, to make other individuals feel comfortable. Uh, you're no longer, you, you have totally stepped out of that energy. You are really on this program of delete the old version of you. You know, individuals are not using an old software. They're not using the old Microsoft 2.0, right? You're not using an old iPhone. You're not using whatever, right? It, these technologies advance, advance, advance. They get better and get better, get better. That is the energy that you're in. So you really are stepping into um, this very intense energy. <laughs> For some, it is intense for some individual because it's like, wait a minute. I just, they may not even have seen you in a year and they like, wait a minute. You can heal. You can take herbs and turn them into elixirs. Like, you could, I mean, you can alchemize like that? Like, how? 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 So, you know, it is, it is some confusion, but you don't really have time to sit down and give everybody a tutorial of what your transition has been and, and what your healing has been. You've done enough healing already in the dark, right? Enough of uh, the pain, the crying, the, the, the suffering, the, the uh, doing without and, and not having and still fighting, 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 fighting and walking in that strength and walking in um, the word of the Most High, right? That you are the Most High child. You are the image. You are the image and you are the liking of the Most High. So who's Mother God to you, right? And if we working with Mother God, then, you know, all is prosperity. 
pro a lot of prosperity, prosperity this. Right, so it's it's very hormon harmonious, a very um, a lot of inner peace, healing, and working with your, that inner child. You have uh, 19, so January 9th, September 1st, could resonate with someone. And when it, I'm seeing 22 again, insight. So there's magic in your writing. Um, for some different, there's different ways that individuals, you know, are good at manifesting. Some are good at manifesting with their words, with their hecka. Some is with, uh, you know, the, the the pen to the paper. That that that's a weapon. That's well, that could be used as a weapon, right? Because we got documents. So. Very, very careful with documents and very careful what you sign in because you can sign something and then later you're like, you tripped all the way up, like, wait a minute. And then that attorney or, or whoever signed, or whoever got you to sign it, you know, it's kind of a thing like, oh, they got me to sign it, but it's almost like, wait a minute, you're a grown person. How did they, nobody put a gun to your head, right? You were just misguided and, and had misinformation or you were um you were eager or you were rushed into signing something but somebody there's magic in your writing so there's something with your writing with manifesting putting it down in paper again there's some that can do it just telepathically in the mind and then uh with imagination and with mental thought they are able to manifest something in the ethers and bring it into the material realm so there's there's different ways okay so that's really beautiful i mean because this is really showing like look how look at this wise look at this wise man i mean he is working he's working that pen and paper i don't know if this is like writing music there's some sort of art to this also but if it's just you writing and um a lot of times we all talk about doing journaling Especially if you are a beginner and you're working with uh, doing that the shadow work, right? There's um that there's a shadow journal that I've I've been seeing, right? And that is a beautiful, beautiful, and that's a great tool to use. I'm actually working on a, a, a workshop. I'm keeping it very, I'm keeping it local in my community right now. You know, one day I'll be able to you know, brought out right now. I'm working with the energy of my community, right? So I'm going to be working with a few people on the workshop, all right? And part of the workshop will be working with a uh, shadow work journey, journey. I want to say journal. You guys are definitely on a journey. And what I'm seeing here is, you know, just kind of going by the waterfall seeing the the changes of um the trees the foliage that is happening kind of just um you know getting in this zen energy of the journey right the journey is it's not a sprint it's not a sprint i was a sprint runner i love i'm short i, I love me some sprint running you know it's this the distance your girl ain't doing that but that's the that's the metaphor right that's the patience that's the patience that you're doing with, with your work. All right, Divine Feminine. Let me, um, Spirit is telling me, let's get some other cards. Because I'll start channeling, channeling, and I'm a vocal. I am a vocal channeler. Because I'm not, I'm not normally doing this much talking. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. But I am here for you guys. I am here. We are all on a healing journey that never stops. Nobody is ever 100% healed. Maybe you healing in that area. Those mistakes you made, you're just not going to make those same mistakes. But then there's something else that may arise, right? You've never been a millionaire before. So you may, may make mistakes on your way to being a millionaire. And there may be things that trigger you because you've never been in that position before. So how can people say... Oh, I would never do that. Or if that was me, that but it's not. It's not that that one. That one trips me up. All right. Um. Let's see. Well, that was the. Okay. So spirit is wanting me to get 
I'm just trying to make sure I don't knock down all these. I mean, you guys can't see this whole table I have. I have so many decks uh, and, and they really just get used. I did have, I did have a reading today. They do get used more in my one-on-ones and I love having my clients choose the cards like i'll let them know the decks i have and if they are familiar with certain oracles or certain tarot cards i do let them choose what decks they want to use i mean unless i'm just really guided to do it for them so they're not all over the place right but this is can we see what this one is this is the star seed oracle i don't know if you guys ever seen these before so 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 beautiful so you guys may resonate with being indigo or um, star seeds not really of uh you you are here in this realm you are not of this realm okay i got the nose going but i do i appreciate you guys i i, I really am um very appreciative and honor to be here, to be here with you guys. So whenever you guys see this, it, it is always timeless. It's always timeless. And I do, I appreciate the energy exchange. I did have a few people asking me what my cash app was. Um, I was reluctant to, to do that or put that up, but I'm gonna be obedient with the most high. And you know, if somebody did, you know, you, you, you never know, gracious, gracious energy. You never know, right? Energy exchange. Somebody wanted to, you know, give a little tip for a coffee, for lunch. Not, and it's not necessary. It's not needed. But if that's something somebody's guided to do, uh, the beautiful Most High directed me, guided me to do that. Especially after some people, after I was getting um, individuals was asking me, can they, can they have my cash app? So thank you to those who have tipped me. Thank you, um, those that share my video, like my video, and leave me a comment or even just an emoji. I appreciate you, and I, let, trust me, when that gets sent to me, I put that energy, that divine energy, that uh, prosperity, that health, and that wealth, it really, I mean, it comes from an immense, deep part inside of me, and those that feel it, they feel it and, and they know. So that, that is something that is something that you are receiving. All right. That might have been too many. All right. Thank you, beautiful Holy Spirit. Thank you, beloved, for these guided messages for our divine feminine. So you have weight. It is not yet time. Things are being woven. Okay. Woven, woven. <laughs> like it's being sown, right? And that's and that's that's what we were speaking about this is not a sprint this is it is a journey and it's like you know what on the way even if it's a flat tire right you you doing you doing state to state driving you driving from the east coast to the west coast all right so we know that's like that's a, how many hours is that you know you're gonna be stopping going for some somebody is taking that type of road trip you know okay make sure you have all your essentials that you need, taking this road trip, do a list, check it twice. <laughs> All right, I don't know, somebody keep them batteries, keep that phone charged. Mama Bear start coming out when, yeah. Mama Bear, Mama Bella, Mama Bella comes out when it, when it, when it comes to those kind of things, you know, just, isn't it come on seriously isn't it better to be safe than sorry all right so things are being so you're really you're planting seeds right now and planting seeds whether you are again manifesting with a pen so you may you may just be writing these things down right and you're keeping them to yourself but you're, you're getting it out of you're getting it out of your mind, your brain, your subconscious, you're putting it down on paper. Even if it's dreams, you know, even if you could just, even if it's one or two things that you could remember in the dream, um, the, what, what the fabric looked like, what, what you felt like, you know, um, if you saw what you looked like, a name that you heard, a number, 
you may not remember the whole entire dream. It's, it's something. And it's not for you to like dissect and uh, and get get it interpreted right away. Especially if it's only small bits and pieces. It may need to be multiple dreams, you know, that, that you are actually getting an answer from. So... So just wait, you know, just, just, just wait, but keep going. <laughs> wait, but see, and then you got baby steps. So action, follow your intuition before it makes sense. All right. So some things may not totally make sense. Some dreams may not make sense. Uh, if you're somebody that's getting downloads or uh, you're hypersensitive to the energies around you, you know, it, it, it's okay to not have an answer to something right away. You're you're going you're going to get it. You're going to get it. You just really trust and believe that. So the person that who I have here, and I was picking that up, that you are an empathic uh, star seed. You know, you also uh, really could resonate with Lymeria. You could resonate with Lyran. You could resonate with Atlantis. Um, star Sirius X, Star Sirius A, B. All right. Also, maybe you, um, maybe a water bender, you know, I'm seeing like a water or, or air bender. So, you know, there's certain abilities, certain mystical energies that are flowing around you. And it is okay to like, you know, sometimes you just got to sit down, tap in, tap in and be quiet. You know, the thoughts are might maybe gonna be there and those thoughts those thoughts come kind of redirect yourself back to breathing. Um, back to being in the energy of breath. For some, you know, the tapping on the heart exercise. Somebody somebody just needs to be at work. You just gotta take a moment, you know, and sometimes when you see those sacred synchronistic numbers, stop and say a prayer or you know, just give yourself that moment of taking deep breaths, all right? That, that really is going to help somebody significantly. It says, energetic sovereignty, absorbing what is not yours. And there's the mirror here. So individuals projecting, like, so if you really are going through some things, unfortunately, there's not a profession or an expert in this realm that can help us, you know, it's, it's not Google, you don't Google it, you're trying to go to the therapist, you're trying to go to, uh, you know, the uh, practitioner, you're trying to go to the priest, priestess, pastor, you, you know, you're trying to go to your friend, you do, you, you talking to the dog, you trying to get answers from everybody, you're not getting answers that way, the answers are within, it is a reflection, it is the answers are within, so be being careful to not absorb everybody's energy, but to observe. So you may have to get a little quiet, right? Get a little quiet, hear the rhythm of your breath, uh, feel the energy of your breath, feel the beating, feel the beating of your heart. You know, and for some, you you gotta move, gotta move a little more. You got those that's moving too much, you need to sit still. Those that are sitting still, you gotta, you gotta move, you gotta just move a little bit. Tai Chi, right? Right? You gotta you gotta just move that energy. Move that energy out, right? Get that energy. Like snap that energy off of you. Listen. It's getting deep, deep up in here. Bottom of the deck, you got double mission. Maybe may be working with the left hand path, maybe working with the right hand path. Coming into a balance of working with both. Light worker star seed, serve the world by being you. Where you just can't hide anymore that you have the ability of the darkness. And when I say darkness, I'm not talking about evil. I'm not talking about that low vibrational darkness. I'm talking about divine, powerful, organic darkness. That darkness when you was in your mother's womb. It was dark. You was in there for nine months in that darkness and you was growing. Okay? So there's a lot of growth. Things are growing under the moon in the darkness. And then when the sun comes out, now we're able to see the um we're we're able to see 
the fruits of our labor, right? October is the month of harvest. So this is not the time to be letting people harvest off of you. This is the time and the energy that you have to harvest your own energy. You have to ha harvest maybe even um, material things, right? But, but, but you have to, but without being attached to it. Most importantly, allowing yourself to be seen because you right now are needed at this time. And when I say be seen, you could be unseen and seen at the same time, right? <laughs> if y'all know, if y'all magicians, y'all know what I'm talking about, but it's being seen, meaning your energy, right? Your energy speaks for yourself. You don't got to give nobody the memo who you are, what you are, what you're doing, how you're doing it. You know what you're doing. The most high knows what you're doing. You know, other individuals will always be afraid and scared of something that is unknown. And that really is their problem, not your problem. You know, so you have a double double mi mission right now, all right? To not be afraid, um, to be in balance of, of both paths. We are in a polarity, polarity. We're in as above, so below. So... This, this is the mission that, that you are on. Very sensual energy, very sexual energy that you harness in and, and, and keep it to yourself. This, this is not the time to be giving out free fruit to anybody. All right, beautiful loves. I appreciate you all. Thank you for being here. Until next time, peace.